Well, he was a man who came from us. From the province of Baler, he rose and, you know, sought forever a newer world in his life. He defined himself by such a heuristic notion to uplift his fellow man. Good men must die, but death cannot kill their names. Of course not. And so today, I would like to say that uh, Agarda and Agarda and I shared a lot of visions, struggles, and triumphs together. We started together in the Constitutional Convention almost 48 years ago, and by the time the Constitutional Convention was over, we said, why don't you join me in my law firm? And later on, indeed, when I finished and went back to law school, I wanted to join him in Accra, and when I became mayor, of course, Ed by that time had become president of the University of the Philippines after we helped him become president of the IBP. I asked him maybe he might want to set up the University of the Philippines branch in Olongapo. And indeed it happened and it still does and something that the Philippine people of Olongapo will never forget. And we worked together, worked hard, long hours, and we played hard. He always had a pragmatic view of what the future should be. And Senator Angara helped me again, and when it happened, he was there during the inaugural of the new Subic, and we created a newer world, strengthened again by my friendships with some of the Sigma Romans, but most of the people who have helped me here in creating Subic Bay. Many, many things have happened ever since. And today, when I talked to Senator Angara, I told him, you know, Ed, Magaling ang anak mo, no? Nagmana kay baby ang gara. Sabi ko sa kanya. And he would chuckle and he would smile and you could see his face light up. Indeed, he loved his family. Indeed, he wanted more time. You know, we never forget our families, at least we claim. We love our families, at least we claim. But believe you me, we do. And Ed ang gara loved baby, loved uh, his family, loved uh, Ed. And I remember my daughter calling me up last week, Papa. Mabuti pa si Tito Ed, he was here, he was taking care of his grandson, he and Javier were here in Hong Kong. Wow, that hit me, big time, and I think Frank was with him. I would like to talk about the Angara that very few people knew. You know, he was quiet, and yet he was substantial. He thought well, he had vision, a man who could see things far ahead, and saw a vision of a life better than what is today. The whole country must remember him. Our words here will be forgotten. Every young man and woman in this country, in the schools, must remember what he did and what he did for them, and must remember that without him, hindi magara ang kinabukasan ng bayan.